Hey folks, I got the Power XL Vortex 1700 watts, 10 quarts air fryer, okay? And I got me some barbecue ribs. I got more chicken over there. I got all kinds of meat, hamburgers. But today, I'm hungry for barbecue ribs. So I'm gonna start from scratch. This is my first time using it. I never used it before. Whatever happens is gonna happen. If I make mistakes, learn from my mistakes. And uh, hopefully this helps you a lot. Hello folks, here I am. I got one, two, three, four, five beef ribs right here. The instructions are to cook it for eight to 12 minutes at 360. I'm gonna try it that way because it matches kind of the weight that they're talking about in the instructions. And let's see what happens, okay? Oops, let me see so you can see me too. And let's see what happens, okay? Here I go. I never used it before. This is my first time using it. Okay. I'm gonna put it right here. Be careful because sometimes it doesn't fit. Yeah, right there. Okay, folks. Now, the time is 370, but they said 360. And right here, they said, well, I'm gonna leave it at 15 minutes and let's see what happens, okay? And uh, I'm gonna be watching it and let's see what happens. So, right now, as you can see, I'm gonna make sure that I move this right here. It's, uh, it's, it's cooking. I put 15 minutes, three, it's 360. And there are the barbecues right there. Turn the light on so you can see it right there. And then I'm gonna stop this video so I don't bore you with every second of cooking. And then I, I, I'll give you an update and then let's see the final product, okay? I didn't put any seasoning right now. I didn't put anything. This is only a test. Let's see what happens, okay, folks? All right, so see you after a few minutes. Uh, hello again. Just to give you an update, uh, it's 10 minutes left, five minutes that have passed by, and look at this. They are cooking. Uh, I can see the, the, the color change and looks like it's cooking. And I can notice I didn't spray any oil, anything on it, and look, the natural oils is cooking the barbecue ribs okay and uh, in about a few minutes I'm gonna I'm gonna flip it so the others I can cook okay and then I'll let you know what happened okay and I'm gonna spray a little bit of oil okay but I'll let you know what happened okay stay tuned as you can see right here carefully with this I remove it so I'm gonna check, and let me turn this around right here. So once I open this door right here, the time is stop. It's like a pause. I don't have to pause anything, okay? So now I'm gonna show it to you what happened in seven minutes, okay? Uh, well, here's the fork. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. I wanna show you this one. So you see right here? Oops, I don't know if you can see it. But I'm gonna get the fork. There, you can see it right here? This was at the bottom, and it still looks like it's getting cooked. Not as this, but, uh, well, that's why you have to turn it over. Turn it over like this. And uh, this one, the one who was on the top here, the same thing. It, it seems like uh, it needs, uh, more cooking, but there's still seven minutes to go, okay? So, just to show it to you, and uh, I'm being real careful because I'm away 
from the camera so you can see what's going on. And, uh, and, and, and also what I'm gonna do, oops, I'm trying to be very careful right here. Okay, do you mind if I get into the camera for a little bit? And then I help, okay? Okay, th thank you folks. Okay, and uh, man, this is stubborn one. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put him back, but before I put him back, I'm gonna show you something right here. Let me see, right there. Right here, it's hot after eight minutes, but not as hot like I heard, it's just, it's kind of warm, but it doesn't hurt. Right here, the same thing, the same thing. It's a little, it's hotter right here on top. Right here on top, it feels a little hotter. Right here, the same as this, but right here, where the motor is at, okay, it hurts a little. So you have to be careful right here not to touch this over here, okay? Right here is, yeah, it's all right, it's warm, but not right here, folks, okay? Just to show it to you. Now, I'm gonna put this back and then I'll give you an update. I mean, I'm gonna put the meat back right here and then I'll give you an update. The, uh, I, I just put the meat back, being real careful. And remember, I didn't press any post buttons. I just opened this door and automatically paused. As you can see right here, still is the seven minutes to go when I started right there, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see what happens after I close the door and see if it starts automatically Oh, I have to press something, okay? I, I got the lights on so you can see, okay? Here I go. Folks, automatically, start. you have to press any buttons to start, to stop, or you have to just open the door. It pauses, it doesn't stop completely or erase, it pauses. Then after you do whatever you have to do with the meat, you put it back, close the door, and keeps going, okay? I'll give you another update, okay? This is a great machine, I like it. Okay, there are three minutes left and it starts looking very, very good, as you can see right there. It has a little red, but not too much. And they're gonna be well done, that's how I like them. Uh, the instruction said eight to 12 minutes. I put three more just in case what happened, okay? So, I'll give you another update and I'm gonna update you when this stops, okay? So, this looks good, very good. I am here and we're at the one minute, or well, now less than one minute, okay? Just to give you an update, it's very hot over here. I'm sure it's hot over here. So as you cook, you have to be careful not to touch this. It, I wanna touch the back. Yeah, it's hot too, especially here on the top. The window got splash, the natural juices, and I'm sure the, the inside, so that, that has to be clean. I can see the sprinkles right here. And uh, so, but I put foil over there where the meat's at, so the clean is, cleaning is not gonna be too bad after that. But yeah, there's a splash over here. Not, not that much, but I, I, that looks normal. So here it is, it turned off. Well, I mean, not off, it just went off. So let's see what happens. Cause the time is about to expire. And the meat looks good. That's how I like it. It looks well done. So I'm just putting this so you can see. Okay, there it is. It stopped. The meat is done. Now it's beeping. Okay, I'm gonna open the door. Okay, stop beeping. Have to be careful. I'm touching it. It's not that much hot, but still have to be careful, okay? See, I can put my hand right here comfortably. But I noticed. As I go up, it gets a little hotter. Be careful, okay? So, carefully, I'm gonna open this, and I'm trying to do it one hand, and there it is, folks. That's restaurant style, 
a restaurant cooking right there. It looks good. I recommend this machine, okay? I, I don't work for them. I have nothing to do with it. But in the time it took to cook this and me frying it and I don't like that fry anymore. I didn't put any juices. I didn't put, I mean, I didn't put anything. This is natural. I didn't put any oil. And look at that. The, the natural juices of the meat cook everything, okay? Uh, I'm gonna stop it and then I'm gonna put this on the table. I wanna cut it and I'm gonna show it to you what happens. Here we, here we go. This is the final product. I'm gonna select one. I'm gonna get one that it was on top and I'm gonna get one that was at the bottom, okay? And, 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 uh, and if you see the size that I turn over, it looks good. It doesn't look overcooked, it just looks great. Where is a knife? We need a knife. Oh, okay, I got it. So, let me see, right here so you can see it. You can see it right there. I'm gonna cut it. I I'm a little uncomfortable, because I move out of the way so you can see it, okay? It's not that I don't know how to cut. I just want you to see it. Wow. You see this right here? It looks cooked. It looks kind of like a, kind of close to well done. Not really well done, kind of close. So my timing was perfect. So here's one. Oops, now I'm gonna get one that was at the bottom. Let me see which one is really, yeah, I'm gonna get this one right here. This one's covered a little. As you can see, folks, oops, as you can see right here, it looks good, it looks great. This one that was on top of first, then I turn it over, it looks so great. Okay, let me see. Staying out of the way so you can see it. Oh, oh, man, this is great. It looks so good. No well done is between between medium well and well done. That's why I like it. I don't like it well done. I don't like it medium well. I like just in between medium well and well done. And this looks so good, folks. Oh boy, I'm gonna have a feast. Then I got my mashed potatoes. I didn't wanna have anything because I need to eat this. I don't wanna waste food. But next time I put some potatoes. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna be posting more videos about this machine that, that I like. I got chicken, I got hamburgers, I got steaks. So leave your comments below and let me know what you think, okay? I'm gonna continue posting to help you. And hopefully if I make mistakes, which I know I'm gonna make, that will help you. Thank you so much.